good afternoon. Happy Tuesday afternoon, as a matter of fact. I am Kim Kesty, Creative Director here at Fun Stumper's Journey and Spellbinders, and I am very happy to be back with you on a Tuesday to talk about uh, some seasonal thing that's coming up really quickly, and it's called graduation season. I guess that's a season. It kind of is in my world. Um, having lots of kids and lots of cousins of kids and friends of kids and everybody who's graduating within the next 30 days, I thought it would be fun to talk about graduation cards today in the tips, tools, and techniques episode that we have going on right now. So let's take a look at some of the products we're going to use. This first card that I'm going to use is going to be using our very, very fun hats off die. And I'm going to show you, it looks kind of a little bit odd right here, so I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to put that guy together. And then I'm also pairing it with our really awesome Bravo Grad stamp set, which is absolutely amazing because it has this kind of evergreen set of numbers and it's got these great sentiments and just lots of fun things to play with. Uh, but let's start with the die. And I'm also going to show you another card after I finish this one just real quickly that uses a stamp set that's not graduation because some of you might be saying, Kim, I don't have that graduation set. What ideas do you have for some quick and easy cards? Well, I will share that with you. So here's the die that I already cut out um, a few minutes ago, and you can see that it's got the three pieces. The tassel I chose to do in just our really fun gold brush metallic paper, so you can see it's got that little fun little gleam. Of course, you can customize this. That's what's so fun about this die set, to any graduation colors that happen to be for your particular graduate. My son's cap and gown is black, so it's not super exciting or, you know, colorful, but hey, my graduation gown was royal blue and our other color was gold. So my son's is black and red, so I did pull out this rich coral cardstock, but we're gonna go with a traditional mortar here. So the die, as you can see, as I just folded, it has a score line already on it. And I think if Roy came in fairly close, you could see the little score lines right here on that part of the mortar board. And so super easy to just crease those. That is really simple. And I'm gonna just put a larger foam square here because I want this to be a little bit dimensional. You can use regular glue, you can just glue it down with our Journey Craft glue also, but I kind of like the idea that it's dimensional. And that foam square fits in there perfectly, by the way. So you just kind of want to line it up so that, you know, it curves over there nicely. And these just meet together perfectly in the middle, so it actually just kind of covers up that whole foam square, which is an added bonus. So now you've got the little part, and again, it's not super high, it's not super thick or anything, but just adds that fun little extra bit of dimension. And now for the back of the actual mortar board, I guess this is the topper. What's the official name of these things? I don't know. If you guys are watching live, you can leave me comments and tell me two things. One, what was your graduation colors when you graduated? And you can also tell me the year of when you graduated too, if you want to, if you want to share that. Uh, my graduation was in 1983, um, but you can also share just your school colors if you want to. So there's the cap. So I just put the little foam square in the back of this guy also. And I'm going to add one more that I'm going to cut in half just to kind of prep it for adding to my card. So see how that just kind of fills in that gap. So how easy is that, right? Just stick it on, all of a sudden you've got just a magical graduation hat. It's so, so fun. Now I'll take a little bit of our craft glue and I'm gonna add one little dot right in the middle to glue my tassel on. I'll kind of let, it, let that set and dry for just a second while I'm doing some stamping. Kind of just angle it however you want for your fun little tassel. It's got some movement there, I love that. Okay, so now I'm grabbing up the large starburst from the Bravo Grad set. Like I said, I'm using this guy. And I love the starburst back here for all kinds of fun cards, but in this case, of course, it is the graduation card. How fun would this be for 4th of July cards or birthday cards or anything that needs this fun little burst? And I'm just doing black because, again, I'm going with my son's graduation colors. So I'm just going to do black licorice ink, and I'm going to go a little bit to the top of center and just stamp this right in the middle. Just come out nice and crisp and pretty. There we go, gorgeous. And then when I was kind of playing around with the layout for my card, I also have a sentiment, but you could go straight in the middle of this, but I started looking at it going, oh, that kind of covers up like my entire starburst, right? So I thought, well, maybe I'll kind of place it a little bit lower, a little bit, a little bit more of that shine, and then I'll stamp my sentiment, which just says, congrats, graduate. 
a little bit lower on this panel. So we'll do that next. Again, I'm applying the ink when I go to my rubber stamps like this instead of mashing my stamp into my ink pad, just so it doesn't get a lot of that extra ink around the edge, right? One little extra tip for you. And I'll see if I can get this somewhat straight. The sentiment itself is not super straight, so it's not so critical, but that looks pretty fun. So I can kind of, you know, angle the little hat however I need to to kind of get it on there. And again, how simple is this? All I'm going to do is go ahead and mat it on a little rich coral. And then I'm going to grab some summer days from my card base. And then I'm going to show you one more fun thing I did to the inside. Let me show you how far I got with my finished card. Oh yeah, I did add some gold silk. I thought this was kind of fun. Once you see that I have the summer days background for the card base, I went ahead and added some gold silk. Cause I thought, oh, that's really fun. It kind of echoes the gold part of my tassel here. So I just applied that to this panel right here. You guys have seen me do silk a ton of different times. So again, let me show you the little surprise I have for the inside of my card. First, I'm going to add an inside sentiment. I'm gonna grab our inside and out sentiment which has this great graduation. And then I'm just, for this card, gonna use just the inside one that says hugs, kisses, and graduation wishes. How cute, right? So I'm gonna stamp that on the inside, but as I do, I'm gonna show you my little surprise inside because what do grads want in their cards? Well, one of two things. I think most grads want cash, right? Cash is king at graduation time. And that's what I intend to put in my son's graduation card. But they also like gift cards. It could be gift cards for gas or groceries or things as they get ready to go to college or maybe for their summer trip or whatever. Um, so I went ahead and used this gift card sleeve and it's just a really fun die. I'll show you what it looks like and how easy it is to put together. Again, it has the little score lines on here too. So you just kind of fold all the little flaps down it kind of looks like a little bit like a coin envelope once you add the, all the little, you know, flaps right here. Now this little guy, you can either trim it off if you want to just have, you know, slip some cash or something inside. So this upper flap right here, you could just trim off. I thought of doing that. But when I put it inside my card, as you'll see my finished one right here, I thought, you know, it's kind of cute with the flap right there. So again, I can just slip my cash right inside here. And it's pretty snug, so I'm not worried about it falling out. And of course, it will be in an envelope. But I can just slip my cash right in here. And I could close it, but I think I might just leave it open because I think it would be a fun little added touch. But let me go ahead and bring my black licorice back and add this cute little inside sentiment. Because, you know, I'm going to have to make multiples of these, and I'm going to have to be ready to just have my sentiment inside and be able to sign it off, and off we go. So again, there's that darling hugs, kisses, and graduation wishes, right? So fun. Okay, so there's card number one. Simple, pick any color palette you want. You've got the black mortar board. Add a little gift card holder if you want. Your inside sentiment, done, bam, super fast. So, so I did say earlier that some of you out there might be saying, oh, I don't really have graduation. I don't have that graduation stamp. I don't have any graduation stamp. So give me some ideas for things I can use that I have maybe some stamps already in my stash. So take a look at this next one I've got going. First of all, I grabbed out some, this is going to be kind of my girly card. So we've got girlfriends and nieces, um, kids of girlfriends and also some nieces are graduating too. So I thought this is kind of a fun color palette with a bubblegum pink, some pattern paper. So I'm going to fold this guy in half and make kind of a top folding card. This one, I'm not going to add the gift card sleeve inside, but if you wanted to, you could fold the card the other way. I'll just grab my trimmer. Ooh, noisy. Okay, so I wanted to add some angled pieces of patterned paper to my card front right here. So I've got two pieces that are already cut to the same size as the card front, and I'm just going to kind of angle them down. So I'm going to bring them in my trimmer. And this first one, I'm going to come from the corner on the left. So I'm going to line up the exact corner right there on my blade. Yep, I think you guys can see that pretty good. And then I'm going to kind of tilt this until I get the angle I want. And I think I want it approximately an inch, maybe a little bit more, maybe about an inch and a half down. So I just got this nice little angle piece. So see, you got your first angle piece right there. 
And then the stripes, I'm going to just want to angle the opposite way. So I'm going to come in from, I'm going to leave this corner square. And this one I want a little more dramatic. And again, what's fun about this is that now that I have all my pieces cut, I can actually do two cards at once. So if I had two card bases, my first one I'm going to use these two guys and overlap them, you know, on my card. But then I can have these guys too, and I can overlap them or overlap them this way. So definitely save these extra pieces for another card that you are going to have to make, because I'm telling you, it's this, tis the season. Okay, so I would just come back and take these two angle pieces. And again, use any pattern paper you have. That's what's so fun. Just grab two coordinating ones, just kind of give yourself, and look how much emotion and fun this card already has. And again, haven't used any graduation product yet. So now I've got some die cut circles I can kind of pop on here. I've got some cute little sweet berry one on top. And now for my sentiment, I've got a whipped cream card stack. So I went ahead and looked through my sentiments. I thought, you know, I got to shop my stash now. So I went ahead and looked through a bunch of my stamp sets and I thought, what do I have that could work for graduation that doesn't actually say happy graduation? So I came across this one fairly quickly in my stash and it's our birthday candle stamp set. And there's a couple that actually work. Hip Hip Hooray would be fun because that's kind of that congratulations one. Even Make a Wish, that's a little more birthday-ish, but it could work. But I thought, you know what, right here, this one's perfect. Celebrate your day, right? So it's the day all about the graduate. So I brought in some Beach Breeze ink, and I thought that would be kind of fun to keep in with the colorful mode of this card. And what's great about this stamp set, too, is I have, I have it in our little sleeve right here, but it has the matching die, too. So that's going to really speed up my process when I get ready to finish this card. So again, I'm just stamping it in Beach Breeze. So isn't that fun? I really do stamp most of my sentiments in black, but once in a while it's like, no, i got to just reach for the color and do something real colorful. So I'll go ahead and die cut this out with the die cut sentiment. And this time, again, because it's kind of girly and because I know my one niece is graduating and her graduation gowns are white, so I'm going to take the same exact, you know, idea for my little hats off die. Is that what this guy's called? I have to look again. Yep, hats off die. <laughs> I'm like, that's what it's called, right? I had like one of those moment, momentary panic situations. So again, just adhere it like this. And of course, because I'm going for color, I cut out a hot pink little tassel. So this is not fun with the whole, you know, color thing going on. Let me go ahead and show you my finish card. And you will see that even though I haven't used a graduation stamp, I did use the die, but this card just is really fun. All of a sudden it just pretty much screams graduation with that fun little white cap there. And again, I did use the same sentiment on the inside, little inside wish from that inside out sentiment and added a little paper clip because kind of a little nod to school, right? A couple little gems finish that guy off. So, super fun. Let me bring back my original one. So, here's two cards using the same die set, but completely different stamp sets, both of which I think are so perfect for your graduate. And again, fully customizable. You can do anything you want. Make it your own. I hope that you've learned a few little extra tips and tricks about not only doing graduation cards, but just a different way to look at your stamp sets and maybe combine different ones together and just it just expands the repertoire of your stamps that you have in your stash right now. So that is super fun. And again, thank you for joining us on T3 Tips, Tools, and Techniques. I hope you join us every Tuesday afternoon. We broadcast here from, uh, from Arizona at 4 o'clock Arizona time. Um, every Tuesday, we just kind of try to bring some fun things to you, something to inspire you as you move throughout your week. So check us out on our YouTube channel. We have lots of original T3s there. There's a whole playlist full, so check those out. As always, we appreciate if you like and share our videos and even subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. So again, thank you. Have a great Tuesday, and I hope you enjoy bringing paper to life.